On this graph, we want to figure out if each of these points represents a different country, which country would have the most economic growth. If you look at our production possibilities frontier, we're looking at the, the trade-off between consumer goods and capital goods. Now, if we're looking at point A or country A, they're producing a lot of consumer goods, but not very many capital goods. Country B is producing sort of a, a you know, pretty equal amount of both. Country C is producing some consumer goods, not a tremendous amount, but they're producing a lot of capital goods. D, we learned before, is going to be uh, productively inefficient. We don't, we don't like that point. We don't want to choose that one. So what we learned that will lead to economic growth is either technological advances or capital accumulation. So since point C is producing the most capital, point C would have the most economic growth. So point C, if that's a country, would have the most economic growth because they're producing the most capital and capital accumulation leads to economic growth.